It's a federal fast track for the massive gateway project that will expand and improve rail connections between New Jersey and New York. This is one of the most significant transportation projects in the country. We do not have time to waste. We have to get this done or else we're going to lose a lot of capacity on the Northeast Corridor. The $24 billion proposal will construct a new tunnel under the Hudson River. The transportation project rose out of the ashes of the canceled Arc Tunnel, and today leaders from both states announced they've secured several sources of funding to supplement a pathway already at capacity and made more vulnerable after Superstorm Sandy. This summer, I announced that the department had officially placed the Gateway Tunnel project in the New Starts pipeline. This is extremely significant because it puts the project on a path to potentially receiving billions of dollars in federal grants. The review process has been placed on what's known as the President's Permitting Dashboard. It's an online portal that helps track complex infrastructure projects. This new designation pushes any permitting needs for Gateway to the front of the line. And this means not that any review will be skipped, but that every review will be expedited. Gateway isn't a traditional transit project because it serves not only New Jersey Transit, but Amtrak riders as well. And while it may not seem like much of a distinction to us, the New Starts program wasn't designed and legally could not fund projects that include intercity rail elements. Senator Menendez helped rewrite a federal transportation bill to include projects like Gateway, Amtrak, New Jersey Transit, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, the federal government, and lawmakers have all said they're on board to get the project through, announcing $235 million to complete the first phase of construction, the Hudson Yards concrete casing project, and $55 million to replace the portal bridge over the Hackensack River. The portal bridge, many people don't realize that's the choke point, mm -hmm. not just causing delays in this region, but really up and down the Northeast Corridor from Boston to Washington, D.C. So many of our problems is because we've got a century-old bridge that hasn't gotten the kind of improvements it needs. It's constantly breaking down. Senator Booker couldn't attend the announcement, though he spent three years pushing the agenda for a system that carries more than 200,000 daily passengers. The Port Authority Board will meet next Thursday. Uh, I expect that actions will be taken at that board meeting with respect to Gateway that have the full-throated endorsement of both Governor Cuomo of New York and Governor Christie of New Jersey. We're not looking at it as if it's some future project that's absolutely necessary and we need to do it. We are doing it. We turn the hourglass over. We're building this project. There is no turning back. If all goes to plan, and the emphasis today is that it will, the new tunnel construction will begin in 2019 and take four to five years to complete. Once that's up and running, officials expect to go back and make repairs to the existing tunnels, doubling the capacity to the region. In New York Penn Station, Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.